Hey guys, this is Senna. Minasan, o t s u k a i s a m a desu. Senna desu. Today we are going to be exploring Fukuoka, Japan. And I'm going to be introducing myself to you guys properly in this vlog because this is my first time doing a proper vlog in Japan. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day in Fukuoka, as you can see. Well, not really, but apparently it's gonna be raining around 3 o'clock. And right now it is 9 50 a.m. So we've got what, how many hours? One, two, three, four, five hours to explore the city, Fukuoka. I hope you enjoy this vlog. <laughs> I've been making YouTube videos for many years, but this is my first proper vlog in Japan. I'm pretty excited about it. Whenever I make vlogs, I normally make them by myself.、Uh, you know, just by exploring around the city,、uh, talking about things that are not so interesting about my life or whatever. But today, I am here with my sister. However, she doesn't want anything to do with me or With this channel, so she's not gonna be in the vlog, but she's around somewhere. But we wanted to just come out here and、um, explore Fukuoka City. I am here at Tenjin right now, and Tenjin is the city area of Fukuoka where just people go shopping and hang out and stuff. Even these guys are wearing masks. How amazing! So, right now, as you guys can see, I'm in the city area, right? Like, you can see a lot of buildings、uh, over the air, over the air and stuff. If you look at the other way, what you can see is totally different. You wouldn't expect to see this, man. You gotta see this. This is what I like about Fukuoka.、Um, somewhere like Tenjin, for example, it's such a busy place. There's always a lot of people. In the city itself, it's really busy. But if you walk about 10 to 20 minutes、uh, from the center of Tenjin area, you can get to see the total different view of Fukuoka, like this one, compared to the city area. <laughs> I highly doubt that I can climb this up. Well, I'm not good at climbing anyway. So much higher than I am. So, I forgot to tell you guys about my plan for this vlog previously. So, we are at this、uh, park called Ohori Park, where the view is again magnificent. I'll show you guys the view really soon. But my plan from here is that first of all, we'll walk around Ohori Park for a bit. And after that, there's Starbucks. Well, it's really beautiful. And since I love coffee, if you've been following my channel, you know how much I love coffee. So I'm definitely g o n n a get some coffee later. And after that, I will go back to Tenjin, the city area, and get some ramen because Fukuoka is really famous for ramen. If you ever come here and don't try ramen noodles in Fukuoka, it's like you're not even here. Well, did you? Go to Fukuoka and you didn't try the ramen noodles? Like, what are you? So, <laughs> ramen noodles are that popular in Fukuoka, so make sure to try that out. Throughout this vlog, I will tell you my story, my life story.、Uh, I'm not sure if you're interested in hearing that, but because this is my first proper vlog in Fukuoka, and Fukuoka is where I was born and raised. Uh, so, I wanted to introduce myself to you properly again because I know a lot of you guys haven't seen me before、uh, or don't know who I am. So, I will just go over everything that I have experienced in my life so far. 
But anyway, let's go to this park and explore the place and see some beautiful views. My face is too big. That's why I can't fit <laughs> in this in this frame. <laughs> I'm gonna get some green tea latte. So let me start telling you about my story, the story of my life. My name is Sena Shimotsuma and I am currently 24 years old. I'm Japanese and I was born and raised in Fukuoka, Japan for 15 years. And I left Japan uh, to study abroad in New Zealand at the age of 15. And then I went to university. I worked in New Zealand in the education industry for uh, a few years. And in 2020, I got a new job and came back to Japan and started working here from October. So I'm here at Ohori Park Japanese Garden. Uh, this place is so beautiful. I should tell you guys more about this place. This area was once an inlet of Hakata Bay and when Nagamasa Kuroda constructed Fukuoka Castle in the Keicho era, the north side was reclaimed and made into the outer moat around the castle. The park was constructed for the Eastern Industrial Exhibition held in Fukuoka in 1927 and it was then opened as Ohori Park in 1929. Do you know how I know about all of these? Obviously, I've got this information right here. place is very calming. It's just really relaxing. I'll briefly talk about how I used to be like when I was a kid. I used to be really fat. Well, if you've been watching my videos, then I think I've told you guys before that I used to be overweight. And when I visited my grandma in the New Year's, my uncle came up to me and he was like, oh, you are Himanji, which directly translates into a fat kid and I just didn't know what that meant so I asked my mum about it and then she was like oh no that means you're fat I, I don't know how old I was uh, I was probably around nine? Shogakko go nen desho? Ja, yeah? Yonen, 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 sannen, dagara, etto, ju, so. So I, I was about 10 years old at that time. Until that moment, I didn't think I was fat. Well, I'll just show you the picture. Yeah, I, I was fat. When I look back at those days, yes, I can confidently tell you that I used to be overweight. And I, and I was in shock, you know? As a 10 year old, to be told that you're fat. <laughs> I couldn't sleep that night. I was a bit emotional. I was crying a little bit. And then I told my mom that I wanted to lose weight. So my mom helped me with that. She bought me a skipping rope. 
after that day I would always go outside um, doing the skipping rope every night for about three or four months and I started losing weight and yeah that problem was gone so that was me um, when I was a kid I was fat and I got bullied and stuff but I overcame it by doing the skipping rope that's pretty much the highlight of my childhood which is quite sad anyway let's just move on as all of us have experienced. 2020 was really tough for everyone. So I just prayed for 2021 to be one of the most amazing years of our lives. All we can do is to live healthy each day and keep going and life goes on like that, so. I loved going to this dog park where I could just pad dogs all day in that in the park right i mean normally people would just go there for a, a few hours and just go home sort of thing but when i was really into padding dogs i would always go there not that often but maybe a few times in a month i would always go there from the beginning so like at 9 a.m till 5 p.m since when i was a kid when i was determined to do something I would just spend so many hours doing the same thing. So like, like patting dogs, for example. Like I would literally do that for many hours without being bored or anything like that. So when I finally noticed that I was overweight and the main reason why I could stick with doing the skipping rope for many months consistently was because I've always loved doing something that I'm determined to. And obviously my mom, my family helped me go through that process, uh, which I'm really grateful for. Like patting dogs, for example, <laughs> my parents would let me just do that for hours and hours. Uh, they just let me do whatever I wanted to do, I wanted to pursue. So the main reason why I am who I am now is because of the freedom that they gave me when I was little or ever since I grew up in Japan and I really appreciate for uh, how they raised me. So like I said, I eventually uh, lost a lot of weight. I started playing football and when I got into junior high school, I joined um, a football club in my school. And I really loved it. Like I loved the, I loved the routine where I would just go to school, study and play football. But one thing that I didn't like was when my mates were like, oh, let's hang out, but we don't know what the plans are, but shall we just get together and, you know, have lunch or something? I have to tell you, I didn't like it at all. Um, so I never joined. I barely have the memories that I hung out with my mates at um, outside school, which is quite sad. Like, I would have probably enjoyed it, but it's just my preference. So I've always been a person that likes to um, do something with apes. What that means is that like whenever I wanted to hang out with my mates, I always wanted to know what we were gonna be doing. Otherwise, what's the point? Like getting together and talk about what? So instead of hanging out with my mates, uh, when I was in junior high school especially, I would choose to play video games at home because I just loved playing video games. It was so much fun. To me, it was more fun than hanging out with people outside. I wouldn't say I used to be very antisocial, but uh, to a point. But it's not like I didn't like to hang out with my mates. When I just had my own time, I, I valued my time. You know, I, I really liked spending time by myself as well. So it was a good balance. Like when I was at school, I would always hang out with my mates, playing football outside and, you know, being very 
very uh, sociable. Um, but when I was outside school, well, I valued my own time so much that I would prefer playing video games by myself. Yeah, it, it was just my preference and I have no regrets for that. All right, it's time to have lunch. Finally, I'm starving. to be alive. That's the taste of this Ifudo ramen. I'm gonna get some coffee. This tastes like what I used to have in New Zealand. It's amazing. It's called Fuk Ko Coffee. Uh, so, if you ever come to Fukuoka and um, want to have some coffee, then definitely go and check this place out because it's amazing. guys I've decided to finish this vlog because I thought it was gonna to be too long to cover my entire life in one vlog so what I'll do is to talk more about myself in the next vlog that I'm gonna do quite soon hopefully so basically what I've covered in this vlog was my childhood where I gained so much weight and how I lost weight and I was a bit of an antisocial person where I didn't hang out with my mates much uh, when I was 13 or 14. But there's so much more to tell you guys about myself in my life. So please stay tuned for my second vlog uh, where I'm gonna introduce myself a bit. I'll, I'll talk more about after the age of 15. So that's when I, uh, started studying abroad in New Zealand and stuff so but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the beautiful views of Fukuoka um, this is my home so I really love this place if you like this video please give this video a massive thumbs up because when you hit the like button the YouTube algorithm helps my channel grow and reach people that are interested in the topics that I discuss on my channel if you have any questions or comments please let me know in the comment section box below and if I find any interesting comments or questions, I'll make videos answering your questions or might make videos based on your questions. So I hope all of you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya, bye. The, the most important thing that you should know about me that you probably could get to understand in this vlog was that I love coffee. I really do love coffee. That's it. Anyway, see ya. Bye.